So today's video is sponsored by, well, me. During this pandemic, it's been tough in the job market. I do not make money off this channel, so I have to work just like the majority of you. Um, but it's been a struggle for me to search for a job, but I eventually did find one towards the end of last year. And I made a tweet which went kind of viral. A lot of people liked the organization with the spreadsheet. And if you're applying for jobs now and you need to organize your job search, head to my Etsy store and you'll be able to download the same spreadsheet. You'll be able to get automatic statistics on there. You'll have automatic highlighting and a lot of other features I've included to try and help you try and get a job. So the link will be in the description of this video. Sabrina Ionescu, she was a college superstar the only Division I basketball player, male or female, to record 2,000 points, 1,000 assists, and 1,000 rebounds in a college career. So of course, she ended up being the number one pick in the 2020 WNBA draft. She was on course to be Rookie of the Year but had a season-ending ankle injury, but she still showed what she could do in the league. So let's see if you can make decisions like she does in today's episode of Hashtag What Next, the basketball IQ test.
So after studying the film, I would say that Sabrina Ionescu's game is a pretty simple and efficient one. She's just extremely direct. She tries to go from A to B, just get to the basket as quickly as possible. And especially because she's the point guard, she has the ball in her hands and she just looks for the earliest chance to get the ball in the basket. Now the fact that she's so direct also means she's extremely aggressive, both on offense and defense. However, this aggression also means that she ends up taking a lot of hard falls on the floor. So the fact that she had a season ending injury didn't entirely surprise me after studying the footage. But this is also probably what helped her set those records in college and obviously get her the number one spot in the WNBA draft. Hopefully she'll come back stronger from this injury and we'll get to see a full season of her in the league. When she can't get all the way to the basket, she is very capable of stopping on a dime and pulling up, whether from three or mid-range, which obviously makes her a big threat on offense. As good a scorer as she is, she is also a very willing passer. She does always look for her open teammates because, again, as I said, she's a very direct player, so she looks for the easiest score first, whether it's for her to get a bucket or her teammates. And if you go back through the test, you'll see how she makes passes from tight situations, but also in transition, she loves to make that early pass too. So, I hope you've learned more about Sabrina Ionescu's game in this IQ test. Subscribe for more, and until next time, stay blessed. Turn now.